Hey, welcome back everybody for part deuce of the 87 and 75 grain VMAX using AR comp to the 6 arc. So on those OCW tests, on the 87 we got between 26.4 here, even clear up to 26.8, but these are kind of showing some pressure signs. I have been shooting in between here already and I've made a couple of made a couple of findings with problems with our cases but things have been looking good in the 75 I mean really I mean even that one 28.2 isn't bad but uh, 28.4 and the 28.6 are pretty good we get above this and we were starting to show some ejector marks in these two here so I don't want to blow out what I got left for cases so we'll stick kind of between these two loadings right there since the last video I've been doing some testing I was noticing I was getting two different velocities primarily out of uh, the same powder charge so I come back home did a little bit of looking started weighing out some of the cases and these were all once factory loaded ammunition I haven't been able to get any just just uh, cases out of it it's all been factory loaded stuff to use here so there's definitely hopefully you can kinda see this Let me zoom in just a little bit here yeah, 114.3, 113, 112.4, and 111. So there's definitely some difference in some capacity. There was very few of these, just a couple of those. Um, there was a handful of these, and I turned those into these cases here these with the X are just going to be used to basically follow the barrel but the majority of them and the majority of ammo I had was the 108 ELDMs and most of them landed in the 113 category so that's what I used to make the 107 or the 87 grains um, and then I'll use these remainders to do the 75 grainer so I'll get those loaded up and then we'll go outside and do some shooting if you're liking what you've seen so far in this video and all my other ones I would ask you to please like share and subscribe um, not just my stuff any of the guys that do gun content it really would help out all the 2A community well if these ladders are gonna show anything like what these fouling rounds just did. I think that uh, I think the gun's gonna like these 75s. But it is about uh, oh, 88 degrees out today, pretty humid. Uh, luckily we got about a 13 to 15 mile an hour wind to help knock down some of the uh, heat distortion downrange. So let's get some of these 75s loaded up and see what they can do. Okay, here is uh, 28.4 grains. That's pretty much one hole down there. Magneto speed. Those numbers are looking pretty good. Now let's go down to the target. Panned out pretty good. That's a five shot half MOA center to center group. So that's doing pretty good. Got our other groups there. Use those just to 
foul the barrel up, but I mean they were they were sinking right in there. Next up, 28.5 grains. Another good group. Check out the velocities. That's doing pretty good. About the same point of aim, point of impact. A little bit wider. Some of that wind was bucking a little bit. Maybe a little bit of that was me, but overall pretty good. Let's send 28.6 downrange. up around there. That one there was me. That's doing pretty good there. There. I thought that one that I kind of pitched that one myself, but the other ones, I mean, not bad, but not as good as the others. Moving on to the 87 grain V Max starting with 26.4 grains. All right, that one's a little bit wider. 26.4, that's a little bit bigger group, but maybe 5 eighths or so, a little over half inch. Not bad, still a coyote killer. Let's see if we can get better. Time for 26.5 grains.
I pitched that one. Trying to force the rifle. Can't make a good group by trying to will them in there. Let's go down and take a look. Take a quick look at the SDs there. That was pretty tight. I think it was me hurrying, trying to force the rifle that screwed it up. There's the group. That was the one I was pushing on it. Tried to will it in there. It ain't gonna work. Okay, last round at 26.6 grains. I'm gonna try to take my time just a little bit more on this one. I've kind of rushed them last two. They might have been able to be just a little bit better, but I'll take a little more time. Yep, did a bit better job on that one. SDs this round looking pretty good. Let's go down and take a look at the target. All right, there's the last group. That was my first shot there. Next four of them all stacked in there, not bad. Did a little better than the other two. But overall, not bad. The biggest thing I'm seeing though is I am aiming at those points right there. I'm looking at this, we're a little high and right, a little high and right. And here, we really shift right on there. It's not in that same harmonic node as the other two. So, all seb on the way, but these two here are actually a little bit more in that same harmonic node. Let's take a look at some primers here. Got one right there, a little bit on the flat side. Another one right there. But you do have a few slight ejector marks in there. One down here on the low end. These are all the 75 grainers. These are the 87s. Lightest load, metal load highest load. So you're getting some marks in this Hornaday brass, but the primers overall really don't look that bad. I mean, there's a couple of them. That one there, fairly flat. It doesn't even have an ejector mark in it. On the 87s here, and the top load, right there, right there, right there, right there is a pretty good one. All ejector marks on all four of those on that top load. So we might back her down a little bit. There's one on that one. The rest of it's all just kind of, yeah, a little bit of one there. The rest of it's just kind of shiny end cases. Don't look too bad. So as an overview, I think that we can probably work with this because I, I'm pretty sure that I pulled that one. This one here looks good, but I don't know. We're, we're getting an awful lot of uh, ejector marks. Even though the primers look pretty good, with these Hornaday cases, I'm kind of worried about blowing the primer pockets out. But when you look at the velocities, I mean, 
and they're all all right in there you can't argue with that going over again to the 75s and that 28.6 kind of blew up a little bit but in between these two here I mean you're just over 3,000 feet per second right there good SDs I mean them numbers overlap on each other we can really make these two nodes here work on that one overall I'd say the rifle does like those V maxes pretty well both of them in the future in the next video I should say on the third one I'll probably load up a whole bunch more of them I'll take it to the range down south and maybe stretch this thing out five six hundred yards see what you'll do maybe even uh, break out the gel blocks and we'll see which one you know hits a little harder explodes a little better the faster lighter bullet or a little heavier slower bullet you know see what happens so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one